Hi guys! Hi guys! <laughs> Hi guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new, please make sure to like and subscribe. I, I. My name is Nazalie Shang, and this is my YouTube channel. Today, for the first time on my channel, I am going to be blow drying. So if you're liking the vibe so far, please like and subscribe. I'll give you some time to subscribe. Are you subscribing? <laughs> Thank you. So after that, because if that is done today, we are going to blow dry our hair. We're doing it together, so I'm saying our. <laughs> I have sectioned my hair. My hair is freshly washed. I washed it three days ago. You know, it's freshly washed. And I put in some spray, you know, to make sure it's moisturized. It's not necessarily wet, but it's damp. And I put in some moisturizer because I don't want my hair to be dry. And then I put heat on it. I don't put heat a lot of my hair. So if you think of, th you're thinking of putting heat in your hair, make sure that you don't do it often. I do this like once a year, once every six months. I'm doing this because I need to cut my ends and i just want to you know do a length check just to see where the hair is my hair is two years in i think yeah it's about two years so i'm looking forward to see where it is right now so stay tuned to see what we can do so the hair dryer that i'm using is a safeway hair dryer it's a safeway hair dryer um i bought it at clicks safeway hair dryer it's very basic it doesn't have a comb at the end it's just you know it's just it's just the hair dryer it's just a basic ass hair dryer and then i'm gonna use this you know kind of help i'm gonna use the tension method the tension method is where you hold your hair and then you um hair dry the length of your hair with the hair dryer and then if my hair isn't as moisturized enough i'm gonna add a little bit of the conditioner and the most important thing that you must not forget heat protecting because we want to keep the kinks in there and we don't want heat damage like heat damage is the scariest thing ever like after the scariest thing ever that you can think of heat damage is like the most scariest thing i can ever i can think of like i can't like i'd cry yo but i'm using um the cream of nature argan oil from morocco heat protecting smooth and shine polisher it's cute it smells divine you don't necessarily have to use a lot but i use a little bit for each section because i want to make sure it's protected i want to make sure it's protected i'm not gonna waste no time so let's get into the video make sure that you detangle the section that you are about to hair dry or you know um straighten out a bit make sure it's properly and evenly detangled and make sure your hair is a bit damp because you don't necessarily have to want to detangle with um dry hair because you're gonna break your hair nobody wants that sis so i'm gonna take a small section from the back of my hair just a small section just a small section um i think this is quite a good section so once you've chosen out the section you just run your fingers through it and then take your heat protectant mine is like dna put a little bit in there I didn't put a lot because it's a small section. I'll just run my hands through the section, making sure that I'm evenly coating my strands because we don't want no heat damage, y'all. Heat damage would make me cry. And then we're going to blow dry. This is my hair dryer. Um, it's quite a, a, a crazy size of a hair dryer. My hair is really, really, really my hands are really away right now. So I'm going to put it like a medium setting. And then just feel out if it, I like that. I'm not going to put it high because ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> uh, medium, both medium setting. So the tension. Comb a little bit in there 
there to make sure okay um it's you know straightening out a bit as you can see it's low-key not as stretched out as it could be so i'll add a, a little bit more this is just meant that you hold your hair really really tight and then you just kind of section out your hair with each time that you blow dry it make sure to put enough heat protectant maybe not too much but enough i think i <laughs> because i'm so scared of heat damage so i just put in make sure that all my strands are coated with the heat protectant that i'm using um i just blew dry blow dry the part of the back so I'm gonna do this fun part and then move forward. in a while so i'm looking forward to styling it and all of that Protectant spray, not spray my oil. It's odd that usually the oil most of the time is like a spray, but this one's an oil, so we take it remove. So you just gradually just apply enough, not too much, but enough to the strands of my head. There isn't like a huge difference. I didn't want to go in with the hair dryer too much, but I wanted, you know, that like blow dried effect, but like not too much blow dried effect. So I'm gonna separate the sections and keep it moving.
final product as you can see my hair has weird edges that need to be trimmed please comment below if you want a trimming and how i trim my hair video but so far this is the length of my hair this is where it, it is in the front let's do a quick length check in the front it comes up to almost my chin like here i don't know if i'm pulling it enough but it comes up to almost my chin low key here yeah my chin almost my chin in the front part of my hair and then <laughs> in the crown of my hair it isn't quite long it's, it needs a trim obviously so I mean, this might not be its true length but i'd like to say it grew quite it grew a little bit I mean, it obviously needs some aftercare. I feel like it hasn't been taking care of as best as it could have. I mean, I've been slacking off with the way I've been taking care of it. So, girl needs to do better. And then here on my back, it comes to around my clavicle, which is not bad. I mean, my hair has never gone there before, so guess there is some growth but obviously it's help over length so i need to do i need to definitely cut my ends and stuff and you know make it look a little bit more presentable but in conclusion this will be at <laughs> this will be at it look crazy though like because i don't know how to like style it as best i can mostly what i can do with this hairstyle is just tie up a bun um i don't have like a, a, a pick <laughs> afro comb and stuff so i'm just gonna you know style it into a bun if you want to see videos of how i style this hair please comment below i'm your girl nazele shenge and this is my youtube channel if you like this video please make sure to like share and subscribe see you next time <laughs> got stuck in my nail <laughs>